Hey guys, it's Lisa Marie back here again, and I want to show you how to cut your DSP um, if you want it to duplicate the, um, the May class, which was our double wonder card. Um, I just did a video a few minutes ago and posted it for the how to put your card kits together that you got. This one, we're just going to show you how to cut the designer series paper if you wanted to do, to do this again with something else. So I grabbed two pieces of Verdant Garden and I'm going to cut them together because that's okay to do. And we're going to cut this at six inches. You could totally have two pieces of the same. It just cuts down on how many different patterns you're going to have and that's okay. I have this, like I said, this is going to get posted. Um, Shannon West actually designed it and then Julie Davison prepared the instructions and then you can order from me, Lisa Marie. So there we go. We're going to take these and this is how you do it. And I, I think it's important to practice. If you've got some, you know, old designer series paper that, you know, you wouldn't be sad if you messed it up, maybe try it that way first. The instructions are pretty simple. This is the diagram and you're going to have this one, this section will get cut first, and then this section, and then you'll have that left over. So the first one says cut four and, in, four and a half inches off the designer series paper end, which that means turn it long ways. And we're going to cut it at four and a half, like so, bloop, just like that. And then we're going to turn it because it says cut um, one and a half inches by three pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this at three because we're going to cut it in half like that and I have my flowers going the wrong way because I forgot to check and then we're going to cut at one and a half and one and a half again and then one and a half again on this set and then we're going to do it again so that you end up with 12 pieces because you're going to make four doing it this way. So you could totally use one sheet and then you would just do less cards. And let me show you. Let me pull this out of the way because I think this will help. So this is the one that got layered on white and actually looked like this. It's this layout. So now I'm going to turn this because my flowers are going that way. I'm just going to turn it. We're going to put this guy down here. Let's see what other piece we like. We could do it like that. Ooh, I like that one. So I would just layer it out like that. And look, I think it would even be pretty on this. Nope, it needs to be garden green. This is mossy meadow. So anyway, that is card number one. So I cut off four and a half inches and I made these pieces. All right, so I'm going to set those aside. And now I'm going to take what's left move this guy out of the way. I'm going to take my piece that's left, which is this guy, and I'm going to turn it, and now it tells me I'm going to cut four inches. It says cut four inches off, so we're going to go like this, right at four inches. This is three and a half by six. We're going to set it off to the side. Now this one we're going to turn. I have to look at it. <clears throat> this one it says to cut three quarters of an inch off, or easier said, line this up at five and a quarter and cut this off because that takes off three quarters of an inch. You're, you're going to use these later. These are the This is the strip that we used on card three. So they're going to get used down here. So we're just going to set them aside and now we're going to take this and we're going to cut one inch strips. So we're going to cut that one. That gives us two. There's four. Oops. So remember you're making four cards with this one. Oops. Six and eight. So then we're going to grab that off of there. And I will show you an example again because I think, I don't know, it helps my brain. This is the one that the foldy over one. <laughs> so like I would pair them up. I would probably do that one. I probably wouldn't do this guy because he's going sideways and that wouldn't, unless you decide to have your card open this way, which you totally could and turn your words. But so I would just pair them up in a way that I like them. They could be the same if you wanted to. I might go like that though on the flaps, you know, so it would sit like this and like this. These greens are so pretty. So that's card number two. I'm going to set those guys aside. For card number three, we're going to take this piece that's left over, which is three and a half by six, and we are going to cut it. I have to keep looking at my measurements so I don't tell you wrong. Cut into two pieces that are 
three and a half by two and a quarter. So we're going to do it long ways and do two and a quarter. And we're going to do that twice. And then this piece, these two are going for the third card. This is going to be for the fourth card. You're just going to turn it and do one and three quarters because those are our little rectangles that make that one cute little card. And actually, I'm kind of liking it probably like that. How cute is that? All right, let me pull these guys up so you can finish seeing what I'm doing here. So now card number three was this layout. So I would have my coordinating card stock and I would just take like this and then add my words. Ta-da! And some ribbon and whatever. And if you wanted these to use those flowers, then that just means that you're going to use yours like this. And you're going to add your sentiment. Make sense? Super, super easy. All right, so there's that one. The very last one is you're going to use the little rectangles and we're going to create the pattern that you want, however you want them. If you want them all like that, if you want to, let's flip this guy. And if we get these flowers, we're going to go like that. So this card would go this way. And then you would add. That's it. That's all you do. Super, super easy. I can't wait to Zoom class with you guys. And I, like I said, I will get this file posted. And um, I will tell you that I used... Um, Early espresso. I might have. I think I might have posted black. I don't remember if I mentioned early espresso. This is black here because that's how it printed. But early espresso looks amazing too. I think you could get away with basic gray. You could get away with old olive. So you could. You got lots of choices. So you guys, I hope you enjoy that. If you don't have a host code, be sure you let me know, and I will get you one. You guys have a great day and happy stamping. Bye bye.